Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video I am testing out a new foundation from Smashbox. It's their Studio Skin and I can't wait for you to see what I think of it and see my first impression and review. Uh, this foundation is also featured in my Get Ready With Me for Christmas, so I'll have that link down below. And I want to apologize that I'm wearing this shirt in every video because I literally forgot to change my shirt and I just started filming a bunch of videos. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it. Okay, so today I am trying out Smashbox's Studio Skin Foundation. So I'm dabbing this all over my face, and I am going to go in with a beauty blender to blend this out. So I've dampened my beauty blender, and I'm just going to blend this into my skin. So I don't know if I like how the beauty blender has blended that in. I almost wish I had smoothed it out with my fingertips first and then kind of blended it in to get rid of any lines or streaks. So I'm going to just add a little bit more product, blend this in with my fingertips and then go back in with the beauty blender. Yeah, I, I like how that's working way better. I feel like I'm actually getting the coverage with the product and so maybe if I went in with a dry beauty blender I would have gotten a different uh, kind of coverage. So far though I love how this is looking on the skin. It's looking very very natural while also giving me a great amount of coverage. So that's just a couple layers of the foundation. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can really see it. I'm going to finish doing the rest of my makeup and I'll see y'all in a second. Okay guys, so this is the finished look for today. I will be posting this tutorial uh, sometime on my channel. I don't know if it'll be before or after this video goes up, but we will do check-ins throughout the day to see how this foundation is holding up. So far, I am absolutely loving it. I feel like it's looking really, really good. It looks like my skin, but better and all of my products applied great over the skin. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty good. So it is 9.56 and I did get all my makeup on my face so I probably had the foundation on my skin around 9.30. So we'll just say it's about 9.30 and I will do a check-in when I do a check-in. Also, please subscribe to my channel. If you're watching this video and you like what you see, just click that little red button and you can stay up to date on all the videos that I post. Okay y'all, so this is my first check-in and so far I'm loving this foundation. What I am noticing for my skin specifically is I feel like it's a little bit too dry for me. Um, it looks amazing on the skin and it's got an amazing finish and maybe I just need to use a more hydrating primer or something like that underneath it but I absolutely love how this foundation is looking besides the fact that I feel like you can see it settling into some lines around my mouth and it just feels a little bit dry. My dog just sneezed. Hello, how are you? What are you doing? What are you guys doing? Hi. Okay guys, so this is my next check-in. I wanna say it's like 2.30 or 2.45 or something like that. Um, but the foundation is still holding up really well. The only issue I have is I do feel like it is definitely creasing around my smile lines um, and just looks a little bit dry on my skin. I don't know, so that's kind of where I'm at right now. I love this. I think it looks really, really good on the skin. I just wish it wouldn't crease around my smile lines and make my face feel so dry. Okay, you guys, so this is my final check-in. It's about 4.30. And once the sun sets, it's really, really hard for me to continue making videos just because I don't have proper lighting yet. But I just want to say this foundation is fantastic. It looks like your skin, but better. It stays all day. And my only complaint is I believe this foundation would work best with oily skin. I think one of the purposes behind it too is that it's a foundation that can work while you're on the studio, or while you're filming or out and about and working all day long and you need that 15 hour wear. And so, I definitely believe this foundation is one that would last that long. 
My only complaint is that it's just clinging to the dry patches a tiny bit on my skin. But I bet if you make sure you exfoliate and hydrate and keep your skin really moist and plumped, it would look really good on the skin. But I love this foundation. I think it's great. I definitely want to go out and get it for real. I think this is a foundation that would be amazing for work or for a long day. And I really want to try this out with my sister because I'll be doing her makeup for her wedding. And so I think this would be a fantastic foundation for an event like that. Especially if you're someone who has oily skin. I think oily skin people, this is your foundation. Combination you can get by. I think if you have dry skin, maybe give it a try. Or comment down below what you do if you love this foundation you have dry skin. Let me know. But overall, I give this foundation a big thumbs up. And I will make sure to update y'all in the description box what I'm thinking about this one. But... Yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it and comment down below and please subscribe. Like, click that red button. Subscribe to my channel. Okay, bye guys.